I'm going to recreate AC Milan's old time 11 using the Youth Academy system only. We will go position by position, identify the best for that position in Rossoneri's history and try to scout a youth talent as similar to that player as possible, starting from the back. According to many, Paolo Martini is the greatest defender of all time. He came up through the Rossoneri Youth Academy himself and stayed at the club till the end of his incredible career. Maldini made 902 appearances for the club and won 7 Scudetti, 5 Italian Super Cups, 1 Italian Cup, an incredible 5 Champions Leagues, such an iconic legacy and Casemiro Rossetti is the player who is going to match that legacy. 2.2 million market value and up to 94 potential for him. He is already a 66 rated center back but we are going to convert him to a left back and promote him to the senior team immediately. Which is by the way terrible right now as I got rid of all the best players they had and put Milan into the second division of Italian football. Football. Hopefully we can be promoted soon to the Serie A as the goal of this video is to make Milan great again by winning Scudetto and the Champions League. To help us complete the challenge we found in Italy our second talent as well, Clodovea Zanchetta, a defender with almost 2 million market value right away. He is already 64 rated right back but again we are converting him to a center back this time. He is going to represent Alessandro Nesta in our team, another iconic defender who spent 10 years playing for Milan, winning 2 Scudettos and 2 Champions Leagues during his time at the club. We are staying in Italy for our next youngster as well, this time we got a gem of a midfielder in Desio Bernardi. He is valued almost 3 million at the age of 17. A 69 rated center midfielder with great passing already. Of course he is going to represent Andrea Pirlo in our fantasy team. Nothing less than a maestro on the pitch. Pirlo was an essential part of Carlo Ancelotti's fantastic Milan side, playing 401 times for the club and recording 41 goals alongside 71 assists. A true icon of the game. There were so many Italian legends who played for Milan and Gianni Rivera is one of them. Considered one of the greatest midfielders of his time, he wore the Rossoneri shirt from 1960 to 1979 for a total of 658 appearances in which he scored 164 times. On top of that, he was the captain of the team for 12 years. He even won the Ballon d'Or in 1969. Manfredo Dalmonte is the guy who is going to represent Rivera in our team. He is a 61 rated center midfielder but we are going to convert him to a cam. After conversion he even went up by one rating and now can be promoted to the senior team. First non-Italian player in our team is going to be Zlatan himself. Although he has fantastic goal per game ratio for PSG and besides AC Milan he played also for Juve and Inter in Italy. I think we can easily consider him as AC Milan legend. 127 goal contributions in 163 games, 2 Scudettis and a Super Cup with Milan, an unmatched charisma on and off the pitch. To represent him in our team we have scouted Isaac Bergstorm, 58 rated striker with 80 physicals already. I think he can be a perfect match for Zlatan if we work hard on his shooting and technical attributes as well. In terms of goalkeepers we don't have a big choice to be completely honest. So we headed to Brazil and did find Renato Neves, young goalkeeper with over 1 million market value and great potential. He's already 62 rated and we can promote him to the senior team instantly where he will be representing Dida. Next player is Brazilian as well, Marcos Evans. Evangelista de Moraes or simply Cafu is one of the best right backs in the history of the game. He arrived at Milan at the age of 33 and spent 5 brilliant seasons with Rossoneri winning the Scudetti and the Champions League as well. Felipe Linz is the talent that stands in for Cafu. A 59 rated right back with good dribbling and pace, he will be way high rated if we switch his position to play upper on pitch. But for the sake of this video we are going to let his position untouched. Let's take a little break from scouting as we already approached the end of the first season in the Serie B where we ended up regular season in the 5th position. We even reached the promotion playoffs final where we lost to Cremonese on the away goal rule. Actually that is not bad at all cause this team full of youngsters stands little to none chance to survive in the Serie A. As long as we are in the Serie B we can continue to assemble the team and work on players development. To bring a player to play up front alongside Bergstorm, we send a scouting mission to Netherlands to find our own Ovan Basten. 
The Dutch forward possessed all the skills a great attacker must have. He was strong on both feet, a clinical finisher and had brilliant ball control as well. During his time at Milan, he managed to win Ballon d'Or three times and he definitely could do more than that, if not for an injury that forced him to retire at the age of 30. Justin Gerritsen is the best Dutch striker we have found, with 1.6 million market value and 83 to 94 potential. He is 62 rated already with 78 pace, he can be unit for us in upcoming seasons. Next player that we are going to bring in will be playing in the spine of the team. A central defensive midfielder Valdemaro Onibene is 16 years old, only 57 rated. Hopefully he can grow in his rating fast as he is going to be the key player in midfield. Just like Gennaro Gattuso, a player with unmatched passion and quite aggressive sometimes. Sometimes may be good, sometimes may be Next up we are heading to Netherlands again to scout for a physically strong center midfielder for another Ballon d'Or winner in our team. Ruth Hulit was so versatile on the pitch, could play multiple positions from center back to center forward. Together with Van Basten and Rijkaard, they created famous Dutch trio that besides winning the only international trophy for Netherlands to this day, Euros 88, led AC Milan to their European glory in late 80s and early 90s, winning three Scudettis and two Champions Leagues. We managed to find Emil Groen with around 2 million euros market value and great potential. He is a 62 2 rated center midfielder with good pace and decent technical abilities, although his physicals is kinda low to be fair. Anyways, he looks like a player who can become one of the leaders of our team. So Emil Groen, welcome to the team. And the last player in our first 11 is going to be Giulio Barresi. EA nearly nailed his name, as he is going to represent Franco Barresi in our team. Franco Barresi is simply one of the greatest players in the history of Milan. A one club man, he represented the Rossoneri during his 20 seasons as a professional, and 15 of them with the captain's armband. And throughout these years, he did win everything with Milan. 6 Scudetti, 4 Italian Super Cups, 3 Champions Leagues, and etc. 16 years old and only 62 rated Varesi has a tough challenge to live up to the heights of Franco Barresi. Anyways, we are going to add him directly to the senior team and with his addition we officially assembled our first 11. But there are still fantastic players that are going to be added to this team. And our amazing bench is being filled almost right away. First talent we have found is Fyodor Popovic, Ukrainian striker rated 58. He is of course stands in for Andrei Shevchenko. Shevchenko scored 175 goals in 322 games for the Rossoneri. Alongside all domestic trophies, he won the Champions League in 2003 and even the Ballon d'Or in 2004. Next player for our bench is Felipe Moraes, a Brazilian fullback with pretty impressive attacking capabilities and we are going to convert him to a center attacking midfielder to represent Kaká in our fantasy team. Between 2003 and 2009, Ricardo Isaacson dos Santos Leite, or simply Kaká, established himself as one of the greatest players on the planet. In 2007, he won the Ballon d'Or. Real Madrid snapped his transfer in 2009, but he could not replicate his Milan success there, and he eventually returned in 2013. Felipe Moraes went up by 5 after conversion to Cam and can be a good backup for Dalmonte. Next player in our bench is another Dutchman. Clarence Seidoff scored the total of 62 goals for the Rossoneri, securing 10 trophies with the club, including 2 Scudetti and 2 Champions Leagues. Additionally, Seidoff holds the record for the most appearances for Milan by a known Italian player. Daniel Dehan is a player for Seidoff, a youngster with almost 1 million market value. He is currently 60 rated center midfielder, very well rounded stats on him with great physicals. Another Swedish striker for our Milan team is going to be a region of Gunnar Nordal. Nordal is the third highest Serie A goal scorer of all time and the most efficient goal scorer in Serie A ever. He still holds the number one spot in AC Milan's all time goal scorers list. John Lundberg is the talent that we have found for Nordal. We got yet another Italian center back in our team, Grazian Viale for Alessandro Costa Curta. And last but not least, we have our fourth Dutchman in this team, Danny Digraf. 
His rating is utterly shocking, only 47, but I hope we can get a solid boost after converting him to a center defensive midfielder, as he is representing Frank Reichardt in our team. Compared to his two compatriots, Van Basten and Hulit, Reichardt was certainly less involved in attacking duties, instead he knew how to command his team, distribute the ball forward and interrupt opposition attacks. I don't think D. Graf has what it takes to become a starter in this team. Anyways, he was the last piece of the puzzle. We successfully accomplished our scouting mission and approached the end of the second season in the Serie B. We finished regular season in the seventh position, which puts us in promotion battle once again. But this time Pisa eliminated us in the quarter-final phase itself. We didn't make far in a Coppa Italia as well, losing to Cagliari in the third round. Our young players didn't show anything spectacular, so I'm hoping we can turn the tables next season. This team has come together very well. It looks solid and capable of getting us long-awaited promotion to the Serie A. So let's simulate and see. Well, 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 we fell off massively, only 11th in the league, it is embarrassing to say the least. An even shorter run in Coppa Italia compared to the previous season. In terms of goal contributions, it seems that Popovic and Gerritsen played as our main attacking duo this season. Their stats are decent, but nothing special. We need to elevate our game to the next level if we want this promotion next season. And we did exactly that, ending up in the third position. Sadly, that did not guarantee TS automatic promotion. We still had to go through playoffs, which we successfully battled one more time. I mean, how are we not in the Serie A already? That is a severe underperformance from our team, and it can be fixed only by winning this league next season. That's more like it. We finally won the Serie B with impressive 97 points and gained automatic promotion to the Serie A. We even made the Coppa Italia semi finals, but sadly, Inter were much better than us in that matchup. In terms of individual, Individual performances, our captain Desio Bernardi went absolutely mental with 46 goal contributions from the center midfield spot. He's already 89 rated, he looks really unstoppable. Other players were catching up as well, like Dal Monte, and that gives me a hope that we can succeed in the Serie A right away. So let's jump straight to the end of the season. Well, the seventh place in the Serie A from the first attempt looks cracked. That many years spent in the Serie B definitely helped our players to get a valuable experience to perform on the highest level. But in terms of goals, we look very poor. I guess we just managed to grab the points every now and then that secured our top half finish. Which, by the way, we did improve proof hugely, finishing 4th in the league. We even reached the Coppa Italia final, where unfortunately Roma beat us. But instead, we absolutely crashed Ajax in the Conference League final, 5 to none. This has to be the biggest score in the competition finals ever. This time it was Justin Gerritsen who stepped up massively, scoring 33 times. And another brilliant season from Bernardi as well. Let's hope next season will be the one for us, and we can complete our challenge by winning the Serie A and the Champions League. First part is done, we crashed the league without a single draw. Win or die was our philosophy I guess. We successfully lost another Coppa Italia final. But in the Champions League, we topped our group with perfect record. In the round of 16, we passed Bayern Munich, Manchester City in the quarterfinals as well, and we managed to beat Real Madrid 6-3 on aggregate in the semis to reach the Champions League final, where we are going to face Monaco from all the teams. Once again, Justin Gerritsen made our life much easier with 42 goals and 3 assists to his name and he won the Serie A goal scorer race with 36 goals. Besides him, all our midfielders delivered big time to secure the possibility of the big double this season. Here is the team that made it to the Champions League final and as you can see we have a fantastic starting 11 and great bench as well. Let's dive into this final now. The match itself started pretty slowly, the only goal scoring opportunity we had in the first half we did not manage to convert. A great block from Gonzalo Inacio. In the 63rd minute Monaco managed to open the score with Charles de Gedelare. But fortunately for us the goal was ruled out because of an offside. Five minutes later, we got a brilliant opportunity to score. Grun found himself one-on-one -on -one with the keeper and passed the ball to Bergstorm, who put it into the net. We got the lead in this game. But 10 minutes later, Monaco managed to equalize the score with the help of Valorin Balogun. None of the teams were able to score more goals and the game went to the penalty shootout. All players were perfect from the spot and both goalkeepers did not make a single save 
until third shot from Monaco. Our keeper Neves denied Balogun from the spot and that miss costed Monaco the Champions League trophy as we scored 5 out of 5 and secured the ultimate trophy for AC Milan, 8th in their history. If you enjoyed this video, click here to watch me recreate best ever Barcelona 11 with Youth Academy only.